What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. And as you can see, what I'm talking about in today's video is pirating and I'm talking about pirating anime. And if you don't know what pirating is, it's usually people who will watch anime illegally either doing a legal streaming site where they have for some reason ripped or torrent or download or have uploaded anime for people to watch for free or a lot of people will download said anime from different sites also for free basically without paying for it and the reason why i want to talk about it is because it is the year 2021 and i personally would have felt like pirating would be something that wouldn't happen that much only because of the fact that at least for me as a kid that grew up in the 90s uh anime is a lot more easily accessible than it was back then especially when you know even in the 2000s or i'll say even in the 2010s anime wasn't even that readily available for a lot of people to watch online it wasn't until the whole streaming thing kind of started to take off and where a lot of companies started to see the revenue of hosting anime onto their site or having anime on there or making those licensing deals that anime really started to have a much more of a bigger presence on a lot of streaming services i mean i remember when the only streaming service you could really watch anime on was like crunchyroll was probably the biggest one they had otherwise the rest of them were illegal ones to watch on there but I digress now I know a lot of people have different realms of why they don't pay for anime still st still for some reason I cannot speak right now tonight or today but I'm only really gonna be speaking about in the US I do know that for a lot of places overseas or in other countries they have other different services and also some of the services that we have here are obviously not available there they have an equivalent which I don't know the names of or for some reason some anime is region locked so they're unable to get them out there so I can only speak of people who still pirate who live in the US because if you live in another place and you don't have a lot of the resources in some ways I can kind of understand it if you're here in the US it's gonna take me a little bit more time to kind of like understand why people still pirate now I am one to admit I definitely did used to pirate a lot of my anime definitely when I was in college and the reasons that I mostly gave for why I pirated anime at that time was because there wasn't a whole lot of streaming services available at the time that had a lot of anime on them I think the ones I remember the most were either Hulu Crunchyroll and also I would say Funimation mostly for dubs and stuff like that also at the time I was a college student so um, I was broke I didn't have any money to spend on any streaming service and none of my friends or my parents had a, had a streaming service subscription that I could just mooch off of and basically watch whatever I wanted to watch without having to pay for it so that I didn't pay for a lot of the anime that I watched. I would buy DVDs though from my local like Best Buy or Rasputin's or Amoeba or any other like you know record store that I went to but as far as a majority of the anime that I watched or enjoyed it was definitely done through illegal streaming. Once I started working though and also over the years have gone by I don't pirate any of my anime anymore only because of the fact there are so many different streaming services. I mean come on we got Funimation we have Hulu, we have Crunchyroll, we have Netflix, we have VRV, which is a part of Crunchyroll. We have High Dive, which I do not use, but I'm mentioning it because I know a lot of other people do use it. And we also have Amazon Prime Video. We have like six or seven different streaming services to watch anime on. So why are people still pirating it? So I did go online, kind of, a little bit to see what people were saying as far as like why they still pirate. So for some of the reasons that some people had was because of the fact that there's so many different streaming services, a lot of anime are placed in different like subscriptions basically. So you might want to watch, I don't know, Inuyasha, but Inuyasha may not be available through on Hulu, but it's on Netflix, but you don't have Netflix. So you choose to pirate and watch it a different way because you don't feel like paying for Netflix or you don't have a Netflix subscription or let's say you want to sit there and watch Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket is only on Funimation but for some reason you don't have a Funimation subscription so you choose to watch it somewhere else. That's usually why a lot of people have said they pirate it in the United States. Granted once again I'm not talking about anything outside of the US. 
a lot of people also said what or what I saw is that a lot of people say they also still pirate some shows because of them not being able to afford it because of the numerous subscriptions that you have to pay for which I do understand trust me I've been there I was a broke college student as well also some people have said why they choose to pirate which is one that I don't completely agree with is that it's ones where people have the money but they have an issue with said company so they don't want to pay said company to get said or watch said show which I get it I understand in some aspects like if it was because of this these companies like business aspects or anything like that you know I guess I kind of get it but then I also want to be like since you don't want to pay you know just throwing a name out there don't want to pay Funimation for a subscription to watch said show then either to me a find someone who has said subscription and use theirs because you're not paying for it it's someone else's or b buy it online and import it so that you're buying from the licensor or the original licensor themselves, especially if you're wanting to watch it subtitled. Because I feel like pirating nowadays in 2021, to me, I honestly thought, at least in anime, it would have gone down because of the fact that there are so many other subscription services out there and anime is much more readily available compared to before. I mean, like I said, if you were a kid in the 90s, the most you had to watch anime on was whatever came on your TV. And I'm talking about like if you were a kid, I'm not talking about if you were like an older adult and could be able to afford to import stuff. But it was basically whatever came on your TV and you had to hope that the next episode that aired next week was actually the next episode and not just some random episode that aired or that comes out like 10 episodes later and you don't know what is happening. Or you had to go to your local, you know, Blockbuster or Hollywood video and see if they had it on VHS to then take home or DVD, depending on the year. That was literally all we really had. And it wasn't until the internet became a thing and streaming kind of took off that anime became so much more available. So that's why for me, whenever I see people who are like, oh, this show went to Netflix of all places, I'm not going to watch it there, I'm just going to pirate it, my brain goes, don't you know someone who has a Netflix subscription? Can you borrow their Netflix subscription subscription if you either A, can't afford a Netflix subscription in the first place, or B, if you just don't want to get Netflix and forget that you have to pay for it, or C, make up an email and just use the 30-day free trial because most of these have free trials. I mean, we've all done it. We've all gotten a free trial for something. And then just remember to cancel it before you get charged. So to me, it's like pirating to me should not still be a thing unless you feel like you have some huge reason. So I don't know. I guess for me, pirating nowadays for anime is just unfathomable to me. And I guess it's coming as someone who can afford to have subscription services now. But I guess it's because of the fact that I remember how streaming anime used to be or how much anime was so hard to find before that now that it's so readily available, I'm like, I feel no need to pirate. And I know there are some people out there that are like, but what about the shows that don't get licensed? What about the shows that are airing that don't come over to the U.S.? Yes, I used to use that excuse as well, but maybe there's a reason why. And also, that's not to say that that anime won't come over later. It just isn't coming over right now. And a lot of the shows that do air in Japan do end up coming out onto Crunchyroll because Crunchyroll airs shows the same day as, you know, they air in Japan, maybe a few hours later so that they can translate it, which I know some people are gonna say the translations are bad or some people are gonna sit there and say like, I want it now and I feel like that's why the industry changed so much is because of so many fans having the I want it now mentality of like if I can't watch it when Japan watches it then I'm just going to pirate it because they produce it so much faster than the legal sites and the legal sites ended up changing that mentality and now they come out so much quicker just like with dubs. like. I remember when dubs took like a good six months to a year to come out after the show released and now dubs thanks to Funimation's like simul dub system 
comes out like the day later. So now you have voice actors working much harder to produce dubs for you for people who want to watch something dub and not go to like fan dubs or feel like they have to wait super long for a dub to come out. So I don't know. Comment below for me the reason why you pirate. If you are someone who still pirates anime, I want to know why do you still pirate? Because I, for some reason, I personally still don't understand why people still pirate anime because of how much the industry has changed for us as fans to be able to get the anime that we want as quickly as we want it. They've changed a lot of the things for us. So yeah, let me know why you pirate, if you still pirate anime. Let me know why you still pirate. And if you don't pirate anime anymore, uh, basically comment below why you stopped. Why did you stop pirating anime? For me, why I stopped was an easy answer. Anime became more readily available on a lot of streaming services and I ended up having enough money to afford subscription services. And even when I couldn't, I borrowed other people's because my friends were able to get subscriptions. So yeah, that's why I mostly stopped. So let me know for those of you who had used to pirate, why you now stopped. Um, and also if you still do, why do you still choose to pirate? Because for me personally, I wanna make sure that I'm giving back to the industry as much as I can. Um, showing them that I like the shows that they're producing, the shows that they're coming out with. And I feel like when you pirate, you're kind of taking away from that. Because I know a lot of people say, well, I'll just buy figurines or I'll buy other, you know, other stuff like that. But a lot of the times for a lot of these shows, when they feel like people aren't watching, they stop producing. And I think that's what happened with, I know it was one particular show I used to watch. I can't remember the name of it right now at the time but a lot of people really liked the show but so many people were watching it pirated that they actually stopped producing it because they thought that people weren't liking it because people were pirating it even though it had a huge fan base it didn't reflect with the actual numbers because they don't look at what people are pirating they're literally looking at the legal streaming sites and seeing what people are watching so yeah, let me know. Comment below your thoughts. I'm sorry this video is all over the place. I apologize if I've been rambling, but most of my videos, I do not script. I just talk to the camera and hope it makes sense. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Of course, links below to all my social media. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and of course a TikTok. I haven't uploaded a TikTok in a minute, so hopefully I get to that maybe this weekend. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon with a new video next week on Wednesday. All right, you guys. Bye.